And now we'll talk about adding custom JavaScript to a theme. First, we'll look at global JavaScript. So to add custom global JavaScript to a theme, you'll include it in the main.js file in the theme source directory. The base main.js file has three callbacks that can be used for different functions. So the first is AUI ready, and this is executed after the HTML on the page finishes loading, minus any loading portlets via Ajax, and so this will be the first of the functions that's being called. Then you have Liferit portlet ready, and this is executed for each of the portlets on a page after the portlet finishes loading. And then this callback has two parameters, so the current portlet's ID, which is the identifier, and then the node, the alloy node object of that portlet. So this is particularly helpful if you wanted a particular portlet to render a certain way or do some post-processing after it's loading. Now, we also have liferay on, and this is executed after everything else, including the portlets, finishes loading. And so you might think of this as like uh, your page is finally ready to go, everything's ready to be displayed, and then you can add some additional processing here with JavaScript. Now, if you want to use third-party JavaScript, Liferay DXP 7.2 is compatible with out-of-the-box frameworks, including Metal.js and jQuery, which is included with Liferay. If you were on 7.1, Lodash was included out of the box, but it's no longer included in 7.2. But if you want to use Lodash in 7.2, you can go to the Control Panel, Configuration, System Settings, Third Party, and you can set Lodash to true. The Knowledge Check Global JavaScript that would be executed on every page can be added to main.js. The main.js file is the primary JavaScript file packaged in a theme. Metal.js and jQuery are included by default with Liferay, but any front-end framework can be used when writing your JavaScript. And JavaScript can be organized in a more modular way by requiring other JS files in the main.js.